Hi ladies, welcome back. Okay, so basically I've been gone for two weeks, now I'm back. I had my birthday on the 15th of January. Thank you for the birthday messages by the way. Then living my best life. I'm happy to be back with you guys. I've missed you lots and lots and lots. This femininity video 5.0 is overdue. So let's get straight into this. Now, let me just explain something first. The reason why being feminine is so important. And that is because, like my last femininity video, linked up here, description box as well, femininity allows you to get what you want, but it also allows you to have the pick of the bunch. If you want to get into this video, keep on watching. Now just bear in mind, I'm not doing the basic bog standard tips like what I did in my last video. These are deeper things, okay? So first thing, you must be soft. What do I mean by soft? Well, Think of your grandma and how sweet she is and how she seems so innocent, even though she probably isn't, and how she seems so nurturing and so likeable. She's always smiling. She gives the best cuddles and you know that every single time you're around your grandmother, you are not going to be judged. She is not going to be cussing you out well. I don't know, will she? Um, only if she, only if she, you know, you've really done something. And even if she is cutting you up, it's going to be in a more relaxed way. She's always speaking to you from love. So you must be soft and reflect and think, okay, what would a really, really soft woman do? How would she react in this situation that I'm currently in? And you do it all the time when you're dating. So you are now soft. So whether you are naturally soft or not, when you're on dates, Dan, Dan, do you want something? Okay, guys, I need to let Dandy out. I'll be back. <sighs> okay, so we just spoke about being soft. Let me just catch my breath a bit now. <laughs> um, okay, so next tip is obviously well, not obviously, but next tip is all about your voice because lots of people do go around and go on dates speaking to them the same way that they would speak to their girlfriends, the same way that they speak to their friends and that is not the way to do it. Do not go on a date and call him hun. So just make sure that you look into that. Obviously, the tone of your voice. If you are naturally, you just sound like more aggressive or you just sound more masculine, try and soften that up and really make it sound more feminine, right? Um, you can do so many things with your voice to control a man. And one of the main things is to really, really work on that seductive, sexy voice because that will do wonders for you and get you lots and lots of things. So you really must practice that voice. So if you guys really, really want to come across like a feminine woman, do not dress like an Instagram thought, okay? So if you are wearing a skirt or a dress that is like that short and it's like a belt, it doesn't look feminine even though you're showing your feminine attributes it actually looks just bangable and you just look like you want to be the down that's how that's how it looks so make sure if you are trying to be feminine make sure you're doing it in the right way which means sexy classy and that's it sexy classy is the way to do it so as long as you're doing it that way then you're doing it right so it really is about you guys getting the right balance with that okay and that will really really take your look and your femininity to the next level now that it goes without saying that your nails like have them kind of like mine have your real nails you do not need fake nails on and all of that stuff you just don't need that to look feminine this is more feminine than t-rex claws okay so anything that you see on instagram anything that you see youtube or instagram influencers doing that is not the way to go about being feminine when you're dating older men now let's go on to the next thing which is about making him feel like a manly manly man now the way that you make him feel like a manly manly man 
can is by ego boosting. And we have spoken about ego boosting a ton of times, but this is really, 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 really vital. And this makes you seem ultra, ultra feminine. So think about this. Let's do scenario time. Now you are on a date with this man. You've just gone out for dinner and now you've gone to a really sexy, romantic, dim lit bar and you are sitting on these gorgeous plush seats together and you're sipping on your, you know, your, your peach bellini. He's got his gin and you have your hand on his leg and you're speaking to him. You're making eye contact. You are in seduction in the seduction zone with him and you are just giving it to him. So you're just letting him know, look, I can make you feel like the manliest man that you've ever felt like before. And you don't have to say it, it's all in your actions. You're rubbing on his shoulder and you're not doing too much. You're not going overboard, you're not doing way too much, but you're doing just enough, okay? And you're not doing too much to the point where you are pursuing him. So that's a fine line that you must not cross. <laughs> so you must get that one right. Let's go a tiny bit further into ego boosting. And let's speak about the compliments that you can give somebody to make him feel more masculine, which makes you look more feminine. So things like, oh, you know, you feel so good. Like, you, you do you go to the gym often? Like something like that makes him feel like, oh yeah, you know, I, I do go to the gym and you know, oh, I must feel good to her. And you know, it just makes him feel like, oh, you know, that's the, it's the equivalent to us feeling like, oh, you know, he would feel that way, but in a pumped up version. So give him compliments like that. Compliment him on how smart he is and how, oh, your work must be Oh, your, your position, you know, your job, it's really, really important. And just make him feel validated. Whether you believe it or not, men really, really must feel validated. And that is something that is very important to them. So those words, your validation with your softness, with you being sexy, classy, with you trying to put the you know the seductive eyes on him all of these things work together as contributing factors and make you super ultra feminine and wanted there are so many femininity things that i could pull out of the bag and tell you guys but i will save some of those for another video and that will be like femininity 10.0 and the last tip I'm going to give you guys is very very important okay and this this tip is something that a lot of women actually do not do anymore and the reason why they don't do it is because men use and abuse they hit and run and women are just done that rhymed so make sure that you are appearing to be vulnerable without actually doing that because you must guard yourself until somebody is actually committed to you and until you are sure of them so guard yourself guard your feelings guard your you know guard yourself but appear to be vulnerable appear to be wearing your heart on your sleeve appear to be open and like you are not hurt like you haven't well you shouldn't still be hurt you know get get over what happened to you in the past honey but make sure that you are going into something with somebody making them feel as though you are not bringing any baggage from any type of past to what you're trying to build with him because that will make him feel like he really that will make him feel like oh my gosh she is so innocent and she is just somebody that I kind of need to protect and look after and he would not feel like that if you are a masculine lady who is like oh I'm, I'm so independent and um I, I I don't need a man I'm just dating you because uh, I I had time to schedule you in on my lunch break like that is not sexy that's not feminine that's just not attractive it's boring and it's just like whatever when you are com coming across as though you are happy and bubbly with life and you wear your heart on your sleeve and you are vulnerable and you are fun and 
you are smiley and you are attentive and you are all of these things. It is the highlight of a man's day. Okay, so they are my tips that I'm giving you guys today. I will definitely have femininity 10.0 one day. Let me guys know, let me know in the comment section if you guys have any more tips, please put them down there. If you have got this far in the video, then comment below a rose emoji. So lots of you guys have been asking me for like a life update and like SD videos and all of that stuff and just hold your horses, I will be bringing those to you. Um, make sure that you watch the, make sure that you go into my playlists and watch those videos because lots of topics that you request are, I've already done them. Maybe I need to redo certain videos. Let me know if you want some videos redone and I can totally redo them. The last point I want to make is that on my Instagram, I do keep you guys kind of updated. So... Basically, when I'm not posting videos on here, I'm usually putting things on my Instagram story so I, you still know that I'm alive. <laughs> so if you guys are not following me on my Instagram, then, you know, here it is right now on the screen. Come over and follow me. And if your account is low-key, it's just not going to happen. So have a profile pickup that looks, you know, where you look like a normal person and I'll add you in. So on that note, goodbye. Love you and leave you. Thanks for watching. I hope this video really, really helped. And I will see you lovely ladies on my next video. Bye.